my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another review video. So today I have a very exciting video for you. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the J. Herbin Creepin pins or Cray pins. I think it's actually Cray pins. Um, so I have two of them here. I have the brush pin and I have the marker pin. And yeah, so this is what they look like. So before I get any further into the review, I do want to tell you guys that the J. Herbin Company was actually established in 1670. And wow, that's a, that was a long time ago. Um, it's actually the oldest name in ink production, which I think is really exciting. So both of these pens are refillable and they each come with three different cartridges. Um, so we are going to be opening them up soon, but I just want to tell you about them first. So here is the brush pen in the packaging. And I really like this packaging. Like it's very nice. Um, it says it in what I believe is French, um, and then it says refillable paintbrush. It is a brush pen. It says cray pen here. Then there are the three refillable ink cartridges. On the back here, it says that this refillable brush has very fine synthetic bristles with a great spring back, plenty of bounce, and is ideal for calligraphy. You can create thick or thin lines with fine or heavy strokes. The ink is very fluid and light resistant. And then we have got the refillable marker over here. There's the marker. On the back, it says that it is a refillable marker with a soft, fine point. This refillable marker is ideal for drawing and writing. The ink is fluid and light resistant. So they both have light resistant and fluid inks. And okay, let's go ahead and open them. I'm going to open the brush marker first or brush pen because I am the most excited for this one. I'm excited for both, but I'm the most excited for this brush pen. So when you open it, you are greeted with a well, if I can get it out, a little um, kind of instruction paper. It tells you actually how to refill it right there. If you want to pause and read it, you can do so. And then here are the actual goodies. So we've got the brush pen itself, a lid, and then the three refillable cartridges. Let's go ahead and take it out here. And this is very sturdy plastic. It's not flimsy which is really nice. Um, I'm going to take one out. So it says to refill, um, unscrew the barrel of the brush and strongly insert the cartridge with enough pressure to create a snug fit. So I'm going to try to attempt that. There we go. It is in place. Um, hold the brush vertically to allow the ink to flow. Replace the cap and secure after each use. If the bristles have dried out, remove the cartridge and rinse the brush with water. Um, I want to try something. I wonder if I can store one of these in here. No, I can't. I have another pin that I can do that with, but not this one. Alright, well, I am probably going to be keeping this packaging for storage purposes of the ink cartridges because I, of course, don't want to lose them. So while this ink is getting ready to flow, I am going to actually cap it, store it upright over here, and we are going to move on to opening the marker. Um, let's see, when you open the marker, you are greeted with yet another cap. Ooh, this cap's really fancy. It's got like a little gold on the side. And then you get the marker, and then of course the three cartridges. Um, so what's nice is that, um, you get three cartridges, so you get the one of, you know, the initial one, and then you get two more. I know some brush pens, they actually come with two, and then the one actually goes in there normally. So, all right, we've got that going, and I will be back whenever these ink cartridges have filled up the tips and I'll test them a little bit further. All right, so I have put some lines down both with the marker and the brush. I have actually let them dry overnight just so my test can be as thorough as possible. Um, so I'm gonna be testing them to see how waterproof and or how Copic proof they are. Hopefully they pass both tests. That would be really nice, but most markers that I own don't pass both tests, but we'll have to see. So first off, we are going to actually test the Copic marker. I've got some random color here, E11. And yeah, I'm just gonna go right over some of the parts here. And as far as I can tell, this ink is Copic proof. I assume they use the same ink, but I am going to go ahead and test the brush as well. And this one is Copic proof. Next up, we're going to test and see 
how waterproof it is. So I'm just going to go right over it with some clear water. And it's water. Oh, it's both. That's so exciting. Let's try the brush pen. Oh my word, this is amazing. Okay, well, this these brush pens just got like an immediate recommendation from me because they are water and Copic proof, which is so exciting. One thing to note though, these are a little bit more on the pricey side. They are $20 uh, per marker if you buy them at jetpins.com. Um, I can actually only find the brush pen at JetPins. Um, I'm not really sure where you can buy the marker, but if I can find a link to it, I will definitely put it down in the description below. Anyway, um, another thing I want to note before I go on is these are really black. Um, sometimes you get a, a liner pen and it's like a grayish black, but look, like these are really dark and I think they do a really good job of being a liner slash, you know, inking pen. Um, and of course with the brush pen, you can do calligraphy if that's what you're into. Uh, wow, I'm so happy. So um, now I'm gonna just do like a little small doodle and uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit further about it and we'll go to a rating and all that stuff. So let's go. Have I said how much I absolutely love these pins? If I haven't, um, I'm here to tell you that these are so fabulous. Okay, so, um, to the point, so with the brush pen, it is a synthetic bristled brush, like I had said earlier. It does have a really good spring back, which I think is really nice, um, and if you were to do calligraphy, it'd be really good for that. Um, I really like the line variation you're able to get. This is actually one of my favorite bristled brush pens. I know I said that about the Goss and Fude pen, but, um, this one's so much better than the Goss and Fude pen, oh my word. Um, and as far as the marker is concerned, it is a felt tip, but it's really nice. I haven't had any problems with fraying and I've used it quite a bit. Um, my favorite out of the two has to be the brush pin, which isn't very surprising, um, the bristled brush pin, because you get so much more um, variation and line width and there's so much more you can do with it. However, the marker pen is still really great. It's great for filling in areas, um, and it's just great if you just need to outline something or something of that nature, um, and you don't really care too much about the line width. Um, you can get a little bit of line variation with the marker pen, but it's not as much as you could get with the brush pen. So they have no feathering, which I found was really nice, and they have a nice steady ink flow. Um, if you use the brush pen for a while, though, it does seem to gob up a little bit as far as ink getting on your paper, but it's not a lot, so it's nothing to really be concerned about. The marker nib is very sturdy. Um, it, that's one thing I really like about it. It's very sturdy, so it doesn't feel like it's going to get nasty really fast. And, um, the, okay, one thing I will warn you about is all of this is plastic, so you will want to be careful, you know, not to push too hard when you're inserting the ink cartridge and all of that stuff. Um, and the bristles are really nice. I haven't had any problems with any, uh, hairs out of place or anything like that. So, uh, all in all, these are really great. I'm gonna go ahead and give the brush pin a 9 out of 10. It's just fantastic. And I'm going to give the marker pin an 8.5 out of 10. I do like it. It's on par with the Kudatake pins, and I really love it. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Also, don't forget you can join our cute little squid pod by hitting that subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are down in the description below, as well as a link to my art store. And until next time, guys, toodaloo! So I did have a little bit of a mishap with this picture. A little bit later, I decide to line it in black after I'm all done. And this is wax, as you all know, and 